that changed the game for YouTube. Like a lot of YouTubers weren't making as much money as they used to with how strict advertisers started to become. It's crazy. Like uh, watching YouTube grow to what it is today is kind of interesting. I think it's a, I think it's a beautiful thing, but also a scary thing for anybody who's like trying to be a YouTuber. It lets you know, like, if you make it, you make it, but not everybody can make it. But yeah, shout like, out to those YouTubers having 10 year anniversaries. There's, there's like at least two channels that I still watch that have content that I enjoy for that are still like 10 years in. Yeah, getting into game one of Sharp versus Sharp. And interestingly, Sharp uses Pokemon Trainer. I don't think I've ever seen his Pokemon Trainer before. Uh, man, Sharp, like you said, he's very, very strong on all the combo characters. Po Pokemon Trainer is at such a strong character that it, it's like, if you guys think Shulk is good, if you guys think Pyramids are good, Pokemon Trainer is definitely one of those characters that you should also consider looking into. Uh, having like a paradigm of options to go with every single matchup, but also being able to switch to being aggressive with Squirtle and then being strong in, in what is the mid range with Ivasaur. And this matchup is pretty good for Ivasaur just because like you do control the mid range in which Ness likes tries to try to break through. Yeah, but right now Sharps, Ivasaur is really good. Um, one thing that I feel like I, I don't see often is like, like players only use specifically one Pokemon and I know that that sounds crazy to some people But I've actually fought people that only play as Squirtle It's weird because it's like I don't understand I don't see a when you, you have to it's like okay When I see Squirtle I think of yes, that is the combo character the character does have Some decent kill options, but the problem is that Squirtle is not meant for all those kill options Squirtle is meant for the damage I have a sword controls the mid-range with some solid kill options and then of course, Charizard is the heavy damage dealer with not necessarily the best kill options, but the most knockback out of all the kill options. And you have to really kind of consider which of the three is best for the right option. So that's why I tell people like, you see Char, oh no, in the middle, in the middle of what was gonna be that recovery. That's why we see, that's why we see characters like Charizard being switched into at times, because you can get those aggressive plays with neutral air or the, the tail hit of back air, which is the tipper and then still get some stocks, but ultimately Ivysaur is going to be one of the strong characters to go through here. Yeah, and uh, one time I actually just, I, I actually noticed uh, when I was watching a Smash Bros video that Charizard is faster than Ivysaur, which is very interesting to me. But then at the same time he can fly, so like, it, it makes sense. Well, using that down tilt with a back air and that, uh, I think that's called a leaf blade or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It is razor leaf. Razor leaf. My bad. All right. <clears throat> right now, he, he just switched to Charizard so he can get those, uh, you know, those kill, uh, those confirmed kills. But one thing, Charizard, uh, it really sucks about Charizard's side B is if you hit a wall, you're it's gonna take damage, and that up throw to up air is gonna end out his, uh, Sharp's second stock. Right now, it's back and forth a lot between these two players. Like, like you see, you see Stripe here on the Charizard because he knows once I get that up throw, that'll be the stock here. Not even yet here, 139, but good DI coming out on Syrup. But also good for Sharp to like look for that down throw nonetheless, especially on the platform, given those situations. But like I said, Charizard is one of those characters, like if you do get that tipper hit of back air, it's so strong in terms of knockback. But like I said, he may not be the best in terms of like, you know, kill power or I'm sorry, kill setups, but for sure the knockback is there. And that's what you want Charizard when you see that high percent. It's very similar to like how you would see Pyra and Mithra. To, you know, you see the damage being dealt with one, but you go to the other for the immediate finish. Oh no. So he tried to air, you can see that he's trying to, yeah. I'm guessing he's trying to SDI out of the, uh, the uh... he was trying to basically go for a directional air dodge so that you can automatically get the, the tech because online that is much easier to do than to try to manually tech. Remember, if you want to go for techs on the stage, if you use a directional air dodge input, it'll be the same as a tech as long as you face that there. But oh. man, it's, 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 yeah, it, it's, it's, it's rough. And that's what it looked like it was from Sharp. It's like, cool, I'm probably gonna get stage 
sent into a stage tech situation. Lemon preemptively set up the directional air dodge, but unfortunately, the yo-yo did not send him in that one, so he just came out for a directional air dodge. And unfortunately, directional air dodge do have the highest end lag compared to a normal air dodge. And now that the uh, speak prediction... of the devil, speak of the devil, there is the actual good. This is low key like Pokemon trainer meets Shulk, in my opinion. Literally, the, the better. If, if, you, if you main Pokemon trainer, you should main this character. Or you can I'm main this character. Or both. It, it, choose, choose whoever you want. Strong characters, nonetheless. Now that the predictions just came up, I'm just gonna check it real quick. Sharp is at 71% and Sharp is at 29. Ooh, not looking good for Sharp here. Chat definitely up against Sharp on this one here, but this is a best of five scenario here. So uh, Sharp has quite a few matches to definitely go through. Uh, two of them, in fact, here. This is even this is game two here. Hopefully Sharp is gonna set us into a game three in his favor. Another 2-0 for Sharp in this situation because I don't like to see washouts. I like to see very, very strong matches here. And it's starting looking to look really, really rough for Sharp here because this is 125 into Ness. Ness almost getting looking for some kind of setup there, especially with the fadeaway out from the ledge. Switching over to Pyro. Uh, while Sharp is at very is at a uh, very low percent, but as you guys, uh, if you guys didn't know, Pyro is slightly heavier than Mithra, which can come in clutch sometimes with that up air right there. Um, Ended out his first stock. Right now, Sharp isn't looking too hot right now. Uh, fighting against Syrup's nest. But nice. I think that was a, da uh, a dare to a fair. Oh, nice yeah. use of the Providence Revolt, though. Yeah, and if you look at, like, Mithra as a character, very sim I wouldn't necessarily say 100% similar to Charizard. But yes, Charizard hits like a truck. The thing is that he has a lot of end lag and to complement that, unfortunately. Not to his benefit. And you have to think about that here for Mithra here. He she hits like a truck. And if she does hit you, she can literally make up a lot of the, the stock loss, stock lead, percentage, you name it. But always know that she has the end lag and that slow movement and speed to basically supplement that kind of balance. While Mithra plays out very similar to how you would go Squirtle and Ivasaur in certain situations. More so Squirtle than Ivasaur. I'm not just... Uh... But, but uh, just, a, just a small correction, you called them both Mithra, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Man, okay. there, these are all characters that switch things up. Maybe we will get a Switch Fest 3. I think we had a Switch Fest? I can't remember. And point is, back to the match. You can see Sharp is on the Mithra. Really good call out sensing the jump out of the ledge there. Just because you can go for upper and that'll even up the stock here. Uh, and I do see Sharp on Pyro here just because, like I said, that Pyro, she hits like a truck. And she could definitely make up the stock loss and percentages right away. But re always remember there's a lot of crazy end lag on her moves. We see it in the down air, but let's see if Shark can find anything for a tilt. That would have been really good there, because that at least gets Ness off the stage. Setting up for the back air. Good play from Sharp here. And you can see him be a little bit of the aggressor. One thing uh, is like, yeah, you, you can use Pyra in... Uh, it, it, she's good for both early stock and uh, late stock. But, I mean, early percentages and late percentages do her to, due to her... Like being able to do so much damage, but like it also takes like say Mithra You will have to do the combos if you want to rack up the damage But if you right, don't right. think that you're gonna do those combos then you can switch over to Pyra to rack up Maybe if you just get one hit it'll do at least like maybe I, I would say 10% I think yeah, just just as an estimate But right now Surf is getting juggled. Oh man that short hop back air um, that rising back air just came out and a uh, Got rid of Sharp's second stock. I mean, last stock. And that second game is going to go over to Syrup. Yeah, Syrup up 2 here. Uh, kind of like you said, if if you're going to be playing Mithra, you have to be able to hit those combos. If you're not hitting your combos, you're necessarily leaving good damage on the table, which your opponent can easily make up. And that's the thing about Mithra. She requires you to be very strong in terms of execution, but also very strong in terms of her combo tree. And if you're not able to pull those combos off, it's gonna be a rough ride for you. She's still strong in terms of neutral because of her base speed. Is some of the, is like top three, top two in the game. So that allows her to just basically use that neutral with her speed altogether in tangent. She does have things like her side special, which are very, very strong for whiff punishing opponents. But ultimately a character like Ness is just so strong in the Wi-Fi meta 
That it's, it's it's hard. I still commend Sharp for going Pyramithor. I think Pyramithor are definitely going to be top five. Maybe argue, maybe top, well, top ten at worst when we come back to offline. But online, I don't I don't see them being that strong. It definitely requires like a like a, a secondary to go through. But it's going to be Ven, I'm sorry, Sharp here on the Wolf and Syrup on the Nest. Every time I see Sharp go on, on this Wolf, let me tell you, mighty man, he is not afraid to play lame. He is not afraid to play aggressive. He will lame you out with Blaster, and he will do so with all the strong neutral tools that he can put in with Wolf. And complimenting his playstyle. Sharp has definitely been a wolf main for sure. So he knows his character like the back of his hand, but he knows when he can be lame with this character. I've seen him turn things around against some of the strongest players in grand finals with Wolf. And it goes to show because he put a lot of effort into this character, but also he understands what he can do with this character altogether, just meaning the character for so long. Speaking about playing lame, in my opinion, I don't I don't really think it's playing lame. I feel like it's just a different strategy of playing the game. That's how I oh, think, yeah. think of it. Just, I mean, I, I don't consider it playing lame because if it gets you wins, as long as it's not cheating, I'll I'll say it's okie dokie. Yeah. Don't hate me, hate the developers, basically. Oh wow, getting that tech chase into a uh, a good old grab right there and hit almost hitting with the PK Thunder and hitting that up uh, that up air, almost killing him though. That d nice dash attack, getting that good old knockback, bringing Sharp up to uh, kill percent. I, th I think I would say estimately f for medium characters and light characters around 100 is like a good kill percent in my opinion but that at the same time that's also early kill percent oh good use of the fair right there to protect the stage and uh, keep that stage control you know yeah stage control is a very very important thing in the game of Smash Brothers just because you are essentially trained to knock off your opponent in the stage that is at the very core fundamental of the game so understanding stage control uh stage disadvantage things like that is very fundamental for anybody to fully grasp the game here sharp on the small combo here on that platform unfortunately not a full combo but still looking for damage nonetheless you can see sharp here on the down throw tech chase here with the dash attack usually true at this percent but it's still good too because if your opponent tries to directional air dodge for the tech you can still confirm it with dash attack or at worst even read that option double nair and such a good setup there for the forward smash sharp narrowly missing here but there's the parry and another nair indeed looking for that tech chase once more that's the thing about wolf too a lot of his damage just comes from very strong tech chase situations that if you are able to land those on time before your opponent even gets that tech man you are doing so much damage not only to your opponent but just to the mind because your opponent will eventually get frustrated from being tech chased that way what wow, a well space! Wow, I'm that sorry. was a good side tilt right there, using the two frame to finish off that second stock. Like one, that's one thing about Wolf. Like, like a, a, that's one thing that I I notice is like oh nice to the uh, yo yo to get rid of Sharp's second stock though. But one thing that I do notice is like I don't see many tilts like I mean I don't see many tilts used a lot like several times. But like one thing is like I feel like sometimes tilts can be underestimated of how much knockback they they uh, possess and that goes to show right right there the that side tilt just ended out with syrup's second stock which is kind of crazy to think of at the same time it was at the ledge yeah and he spaced it so well too as well enough to like pretty much that was the stock air but that it's gonna be the back air and sharp back in the money here it's gonna be two one syrup and sharp man like i said every time he busts out this character he knows he's putting on his best foot forward and one of the best in the best for sure. So Sharp here is going to be a move up one. No, well, going into one, two against him. Of course, Syrup still pretty much at set point. So Sharp is going to be fighting for game five scenario here. And of course, Syrup one point away from getting it over Sharp. Uh, I don't foresee a character change from Sharp just because of how strong this wolf is for him right now. But we'll see if there will be a stage change altogether. I definitely do see the stages being changed for sure. And that looks to be the scenario between both of these players. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if your boy Sharp does a reverse 3 0 with Wolf. I really wouldn't be surprised because of how, how his capability with this character is insane. Yeah. It's just, it's like, it's because he's made the character so long. 
Like he know like it's like if I see Charlie go Lucina, I know Charlie's gonna be really good at Lucina, right? But if I see Charlie go Wolf, it's like all right, cool. I know Charlie wants to win. He's put so much time into the character that you're even if you are using other characters and they're better for you, there is there is a strong level of play when you are a character specialist first which is why i always tell newcomers it's enticing to try to learn three characters but honestly what's better for you in the long run is learn one character master them and then then you could probably find a second character to complement that character in some much in some matchups you may not feel comfortable with yeah but right now um wait hold on yeah, oh wait, you got the you got the tags messed up. Uh, our mod is supposed to go with Sarah, by the way. I I think I have. Ah uh, man, it, I'm sorry. A little bit of an error on the line. Good thing I caught it. You're welcome. All right, good use of the shield to get back to uh, to land. But right now you can see that Surf is keeping stage control. And one thing about that yo-yo, definitely ledge trap. Very beautiful ledge trap. And since Wolf doesn't really have much in his arsenal to get back to stage or solve. He kind of has to run into the yo-yo. Yeah, and it's rough too because that wolf's recovery is very, very similar to Fox and Falco. It, just a few different angles here, almost with the tech chase on the dash attack. And you know that might have been actually killed with how far that was in the ledge and the knockback. 117 here on Syrup though, you know Sharp is not looking to take any unnecessary damage. Second dash attack here. He's got him at the ledge, looking for that read. Gets the fourth throw, okay, not a back throw, but that's a great setup ultimately against that side stall on the back air and Sharp back on two stocks apiece with his, with his opponent. Good use of the forwarder right there to rack up a little bit of damage because of its, a bit, uh, of its being a multi-hit move. Right now, uh, Serp is kind of like spacing a little bit, but also being aggressive. He's like being passive aggressive. Like, sh like running up, shielding, and just like that, almost getting rid of that second, that, uh, second oh. stop. Oh, no. Man? No. Wow. What oh. a trade. What a trade. Oh. Yeah, he, he got, he got to, he got to, uh, his, his ego, uh, came up and bit him in the, in the behind on that I one. I mean, for for syrup, like you know, you you can you see wolf, so you know you want to go off stage, and like read out his force recovery. But sharp this, this time, he's not gonna go. He's gonna go for wolf flash just because of like I said, different recovery angles compared to Fox and Falco, as opposed to their illusion. Uh, but wolf flash that knockback on the on basically the very center of it, and even the late hit is good for wolf on the recovery. And unfortunately, syrup got caught in that one here. But of course. Even stocks here 48. This is any man's game. Honestly, this is more so Sharp's game to lose because this is either game five or game set match for Syrup. And Sharp, even though Sharp was the one with the reversal, you still want to be able to keep that momentum going. Never let the reversal always be your one comeback factor. You have to always have a consistent and strong game plan. What a good up smash to punish them on the platform. That's going to be an up throw. What a play here looking for that up air as well. Knowing that you could just pretty much try to juggle your opponent. And especially with the triplat that is battlefield juggling options are really good here oh that up smash but not oh, killing him yet well, all well that played. up air though but one thing that i was noticing from syrup is that uh when that uh unfortunate event happened even chat noticed like it was pure pain but yeah, yeah. like i can like i can see in sharp in my bad in syrup's gameplay that he was like dang that like i feel like that kind of stopped his momentum you know yeah I mean, it's up to you as a player, like how you want to interpret your sort of getting a reversal. When you play any fighting game, you want to know the rules of the fighting game by playing it as much as possible. And once you feel like you've gotten the rules down, pretty much you're able to understand like, all right, cool. Being a reversal is a possibility in a game of Smash or jumping out of the corner is not so much of a great thing in a game of Street Fighter. Like you, once you grasp that, man, things will start to slowly click, but it all depends on how you take it. I always tell people, the hardest damage you can ever deal to your opponent is not the physical damage in the game It's the mental damage off the game because your opponent will start thinking very differently once you do it when you once you do mind reads and mix-ups on them All it takes is for one event to happen and boom like that player like I could basically end their whole like man like Momentum, yeah, and like I feel like I'm gonna 
I don't think I'm gonna win this one due to how big of a lead he has because of that, you know? Exactly, and that's what I kind of tell people. Like, have you ever played against a top player and you feel like you're not even playing the game, you're just holding the controller? That's the difference, like, that starts to do mental damage for you. You begin to doubt your gameplay. You might go for more rolls. You might go for just F smashes trying to catch something. That mental damage is the strongest damage you can do to anybody. But unfortunately, on the Wolf Flash here, that, that is not going to be mental damage done to Syrup because mentally speaking, he's already recovered and he's been able to, he's now able to stop that Wolf, that Wolf Flash. So back well, throw here. Coming out from Syrup is, um, he's adapting a lot, adjusting his gameplay to meet the needs of how to defeat Sharp right now. Yeah. As you can see from game two, but after that unfortunate event, he, he kind of like gave up. Yeah, back back air here coming out from Sharp 130. I mean, if anybody might look, I hope Sharp doesn't look like he's going to give up, but you know he's going to fight all the way into the last stock for sure. I haven't seen Sharp ever like throw in the towel right away. What a good setup there for Blaster just to kind of buy himself time for that low recovery. Unfortunately, that back throw, mm, so good for Ness. Ness having, that's why I tell people one of the best Wi Fi characters for sure, top three is Ness. Like, Ness is a menace offline but ness is a terror online like online it's 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 enough with this character that he's honestly one of the true winners when it comes to the wi-fi meta alongside characters like rob like when, I, when, when you said like uh ness is like a menace like he's like the dennis the menace of online smash you know mm, speak of the devil. i love that. how you said that and then immediately you just see that up recovery. cover yep <laughs> oh goodness uh unfortunate stuff for sharp man and that'll be syrup moving up three two over sharp